second movement. All right. All right. Now the trace of civilization remains. Uh, let's go ahead to the place first. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, it's a completely new area. Yeah, that 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 play just boosted my morale a bit, so that kind of helps. Oh, come back here. Huh? Continue onwards. We. That's so cool. I get Mizu Uzu. Oh, he got trapped. Or is it like a your your girlfriend? Well, look at the giant fish we saw before, but. There are still weird things to tangle around the tower nearby. What the heck is going on? Paimon is getting more and more confused. I heard this voice in a dream before. I can't remember his name though. Yes, you have met him in Sebastos' dream, did you not? Scylla, a fell dragon once served the Sebastos. He was subdued by the seal here by... Oh god. A super rude dude subdued the dragon. I didn't think he could do something like that. That amazing. Well, fair dragon was named the gift, but it was no more than a bishop that was a strangely bit stronger than normal. After all, no new hydro dragon could be born as long as the mistress of many waters hibernated in the sea. Speaking of which, isn't Nublet? That's right, Nublet is a hydro dragon, isn't he? That doesn't mean that this guy is way older than even him, does it? A new water dragon of water has already been born? Then again, it has been a long time since even the former mistress of many water passed, so much time has passed. In any case, the evil dragon Scylla was once born once the Sabbatus ran, and this revolted critical junction showdown between the Romarians and the Fontanians. At the time, Scylla led a brutal dragon born to Machimos, intent reaching the inner city capitalium where Sebastus reside. Yeah, the people town we were talking about some Machimos and Bell Tower or something. Correct, Machimos is the outer city of the capital, but should the fell dragon wish to in enter the inner city, he must pass through the in inner Lani. Oh, dude, like, can you, can you calm the fuck down with so many new words? What is going on here? The barrier separating the inner and outer parts of the capital and the symphony weaved by the Sebastos and the musician that covered all the Romanian parts to the Yani and the Golden Waterway. Beatus and his leg legions will use this fact to shut the Yani, thus finally sealing the evil dragon. Something not right about that story. The dreamscape from before, back then. Sela should have come and seen Ramus before. Perhaps Sela sought to go before the Sebastos throne, but since the opportunity is now forever lost, afterwards, the evil dragon sank alongside Romaria, and the Sebastos was too was lost, remaining so very dark. Did you recall something? It's a bit muddled. That is true. I only heard t tell of events after it all had transpired myself, having not been in the capital when the disaster struck. Then, not knew what happened to Sebastos, I feel that we can only learn more from proceeding forward. The last glowing fish that we saw in the castle might have been the thoughts that escaped from the fissures of Sila's stony cell. I feel that he already taken notice of the our present. Having been still here for so long, now that he's finally sensed outsiders, he will naturally find a way to lure us in. So that's it. Hang on a minute. You said the way to Dumbness area, Aria, is through those gate or something, but hasn't Botius shut them already? Doesn't this mean there's no getting through? 
This will prove tri tricky, yes. But there got to be a limit on how rude you can be. That's with this wait. I will wait for you at the area. Mohaha, <laughs> nonsense. When you won't even leave the door open, huh? You know, why don't we find some way to break the seal on the dragon and get the former foe he beat to break the door down for us? No, how can we do such thing? I mean, after this is one of Romeria's nemesis. But the enemy of my enemy is a friend, no? That's right, it's been so long. For all you know, he might have decided to turn over a new leaf and be a nice dragon. But he's still a dragon. Oh, come on now. So what? Even if he's a dragon, he might be a reasonable kind we can talk with. We've got experience with dealing with dragons before, didn't we? Are we? Well. This example was very confusing, were they? Hmm. Come on, Ooze. No amount of suspicion looks like it's gonna suddenly give us a better option. I know. Alright. Let's give it a try. The seal that binds the evil dragon seems to be connected to the tree location. Let us begin removing the chains on the tree places. Hey you, yes you, you jibbering imbecile. Why do you delay? Even if we waste away, the treasure won't move itself, surely. Nay, sir. It just seems so... Wait, isn't it like the beginning, guys? What the hell? But sir, don't you think we're gonna view more ships? We hound back to Romeria? What do you slow? I mean, probably cargo ships. Uh, I'm not gonna read this. It, this is like the same people. It's like the, this is the treasure who just held uh, out again. Yeah, those unlucky adventures we drove off before. Saying the similar stuff. Feels like this farm is worse than the last two. It's impossible they will turn into gold after the boat, they were saying. That is so creepy. I did. Are you of Legio X? What are you doing here? You should not be ordered by the. What? Hey, Esther. Don't you dare ruin our fun, you hear? These barbarians are less of a threat than a fish. Than, than dead fish, anyway. So just let us have our fun. Messing around here for a little while longer. This treasure, huh? I don't know what orders you. Your harmos gave you, but this did the Sebastos not order us to subdue these ignorant tribes and free them from the fate of shackles? Those orders shall not be clearly criminal in deeds. Surely, you jest, these orders are from our commander, mighty Domius Brutus. Oh, well, indeed, the punishes. Oh uh, man, but It appears that the time will answer your question. The estate you made in town is a descendant of the Romerias. His ancestor must have followed him, followed me to join the new nation after all these years. But becoming an ordinary Fontanian. He said the symphony has stolen the soul, so it's not affected him. But in turn, the melody of recorded his ancestor's memory had nowhere to go and so attached itself to a statue. So you mean estate is the town estate ancestor, the real estate, the quick-witted? What about the others? Just a wandering stole lost in your memories. Let's go and have a look. You woke up with Major Oz. Um, hello there, S. Well, yes, hello. And who are you exactly? You do not appear Romarians. Are you savages then? Uh, we're passing travelers. Well, this is a battlefield, and you put yourself in a great peril. You should leave this place regardless of who you are. Esther, it is I. It's been a while. Sky is above, it's you! Don't mean a scarce at all. You 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 really appear in front in this form that I almost fail to recognize you. And these two are your attendants? You can just take that to be so. I had to munch like one or two cookies. Give me energy. <laughs> Give me energy a bit. So, that's the what brings you here? Did Sebastian not send you to damnation? I cannot remember. Am I in some dream? That does seem to be the case. Ha! <laughs> Surely you just. The Sebastos must have assigned you in some secret mission again. Or else I'm ignoramus. We guess correctly. Speaking of which, why the legionnaires of Legion's X9 regarding the change? The change? You mean the treasure? Yes, I believe them to be small as a war. Those that the Sebastos view war as. <coughs> not. But a sad necessity, necess 
necessity in fulfilling our grand aspiration and has long outlawed such brutal behaviors. You know as well as I that they have become commonplace nonetheless. That we are here on the path of darkness to none perceive it. Casador, what has happened? Phobos has meant to bring us happiness, but all I feel is pain. I cannot name. I too am searching for the answer of that question, but it appears that we will have to deal with a problem at hand first. Still, those are our legioners. So let us solve this thing peacefully, if you may. Hmm, legionnaire of Legios 9. Ah, uh, who are you? They said help us. They don't help us? Yeah? We are not really helpers. My dear, we who have come to with Cossador to attain and aid him. I sent you to have quite a pension of acting. Cassador, you say? I heard that Sepatus has sent him to Aramoya. Aramoya? Has he returned so soon? Well, the one next to us is in back. Whatever the case, we have to come to survey the front line, front line legions. Right, I feel as much. I mean, we haven't gone to Fort Scarbis with the main body of troops. But we are in the rear guard. Some, so some final cleanup will, uh, within our range of duties. Is this also the command of Phobos? Well, you should have guided our very move, but since coming here, there have been many times that we could not hear us. Here is Melody. Let's say we fallen back to do Beauty's directive. Ah, uh, such an impudent fellow. Um, innocent, you say? Yes, he did toss us to helping these vulnerable humans before the war began. But our action have te taxed approval of Phobos. Could it, could it de decrease ever been so conflict? In conflict with the sacred word of Sebastos? Okay, you're not receiving the melody. Well, that's true enough. But in what can we place our trust, if not Phobos? Surely it's not to stand idly by. Were we to diverge from the correct path? Phobos is a perfect co creation. I counsel you, as a Rumerian, to not doubt its directive. Yeah, his silence remains strong. Yes, that is possible. How do you not consider that? Could our rash action have caused Phobos to case? No, fuck you. If so, then it bodes very ill. Very well, you speak true. We must consider our action. In truth, I do not know how things come to be. There's a strange feeling in my heart since this war broke out. We were meant to pursue freedom and happiness, but Phobos led us here instead, step by step. Something have gone wrong? What could it be? If you met with the Sylvester upon your return, please appraise him of our circumstances and our doubts. He will be doing us a great favor. Do not worry, we will. To be honest with you, I thought we failed. <laughs> what the f- Ooh. Yay. It seems like you resolve our previous problem. I suppose that means you're rushing ahead towards our next goal then. I'll be counting on you to take care of this place, Esther. Also, remember that the better to trust the wisdom of your heart rather than handling all judgment of right and wrong over the Phobos or any harmos. The Sebastos created Phobos to free us from our servitude of to destiny, but the people's blind fate had led us to enslavement, more frightful still. In the future, you may encounter a similar choice once more. I hope you'll be able to make a right decision by the time comes. Dominus Casador, why are you suddenly speaking in such a thing? Still, I shall keep your words to heart. I, Esther, shall behold, uphold your sense of justice. This is good. Farewell, Esther. I believe we shall meet again. I did not realize I went straight into a freaking pillar. Wait, what? A 
Okay, what is this one is? Oh, okay. I see. Will it stay there for a long time or what? Right? So you. I, I can't tell. Up. It seemed to be singing for a long time, so I'm guessing it's a long time thing. Up. Enjoy! Oh, hey, I'm getting. Hey! Hey! Nice, 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 nice. Sing to your heart content. Hey, yo, buddy, 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 pal, buddy, pal, buddy, pal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Did that work? Yay! I was kind of like trying to explore the area and then I just landed here, so. What happened? Uh. Hi! Imperator, Imperator! Are you alright? Are you dreaming again? So noisy, what's going on? The people have gathered in the Great Hall. I believe they have questions for you, Imperator. Recently, the melodies of Phobos have been interrupted many times, and so they have many concerns regarding this. I have no choice but to do this. I trust your wise judgement naturally, and I have heard something of the recent happenings. There's something wrong with the Phobos. Phobos has planned the roles of everyone, such as humanity, as a whole can attain happiness there should be no issues not when we have the aid of Sibla nearly limitless powers of calculation I've heard cries of sorrow within the music did someone secretly alter the music score of Phobos? no none can do that except myself and the other home Amos could it be that the prophet had hidden something from us? impossible has she not already sacrificed her life? her very life for the cause? The veracity of her prophecy has begin, been validated by the mistress of waters. She should have harbored no such selfish design. Or perhaps it's precisely because she had no desire of her own. Today of all, all people rely on Phobos to make judgment on decisions for them. It's something that were to go wrong with it. The citizens fear that all would descend into chaos. I need you to go to where those who cling to blind faith are. For this reason, I must grant you free will. Are you Casador? Is that to say you wish to separate my melody from the Grand Symphony as a contingency against mishaps? No, no, no. It's still too early. I feel my soul is still unable to withstand such great fate. I believe in you. But now, from now on, we shall you shall no longer be part of we. I, I understand. I have resolved myself. If this is your wish, Imperator, I shall see it done. Hona police the city of the future. Call yourself by this new name. I figured it out. After Ooze have departed. No, no wait, it's the Imperator. Have departed you? No, wait. Pass through the current corridor. The sound of the people in the debate go closer. The areas go quiet and only little by little. When you reach the central podium the, of the main hall. Oh great Sebastos, please give us your instruction. Many have been unable to hear Sobo's melodies of, as of late. The people are frightened, Imperator. Frightened and confused. Our grand plan was proceeding as normal and the barbarians skulking, skulking in the shadows were being eliminated one by one. And the pol pol polluted waters has been cleansed by Ico. Yet, the imper my Imperator, you plan to call a halt to our noble war without cause or reason? Why have you done this? I exercise my own judgment in the matter. Great Sebastos, I do not mean to challenge your authority, but I believe that you have shown them sufficient mercy already. We, we have brought glorious harmony to the land. The gates of Romeria are open to all who wish to join our golden order. But what have they done? 
They have destroyed our towers and slaughtered our musicians. Their blighted souls have unworthy of our any salvation. We cleanse their barbarous land of the blood and order and civilization shall spot after the destruction. For such ignorant savages, this is the highest mercy we c that we can grant them. That's not what I meant. But there should be no, not even a silver of shadow under the sun. Is that not also you grant your great ideal? If I may ask, if I may, Imperator, I believe that this wish is of all of Rumeria. Sabatos, please give us the order. That is Beat Beatos. Defile, defile, defile who are there in the capital. The blood is now humble. So I, I can't figure out that budget, budget, uh, budget, what's his name? It's ratio, budget ratio is, uh, the cat, Casador, and, uh, uh, other one is the, uh, Biestos, Biestos, right? And then, um, the main guy that we are dreaming of is Sebastos. Oh, fuck you so yeah we're back uh i took a break if you're wondering like why i was so rushy i was well it's alan gino first of all second of all i had a test going on <laughs> i have a test like in you know, a few hours time that's why i was like you know i can't handle this story mode right now but yeah what is over here Random. Right, let's go. Oh, this is just straight up. Okay. I thought it will, you know. How about you? Oh, come on. You're not special, man. She's popping off though. Nameless Golem. Oh, yeah. I kind of do that, right? Like, like if you have her all, like get ready to just, you know. Like, get ready to double E, like EQE, because, you know, like, I don't know. Dominus Cassador! Dominus Cassador, is that you? Huh? It is you, just as I thought. Your friendly return. I was ordered to guard this fortress, but the cruel reshaps and attacks of the barbarians were simply too much for me. So I was forced to step back, forced back step by step until I arrived here. It seems as though many years have passed since then. What tidings from beyond? We were we victorious. Oh, is that so? Then we lost. I am sorry. Don't say such thing, honored Dominus. I have already imagined that this day might come when I joined the Sebastus legions. Did the Sebastian not say, Sebastian, <laughs> Sebastos not say that he wanted to lead us to break the shackles of Fortuna? But is doing so that simple? After all, what we have struggled against is fate itself, and defying fate is a fate beyond even the greatest of gods. In the end, all our effort were in vain. Nay, no, say not, Dominus. We took up arms against divine destiny. And our deeds challenge the laws of heaven. We resisted that prophecy, resisted it most valiantly. Though we have failed in the end, someone must have betrayed us, led us astray. Still, the outcome no longer matters. Come what may, our deeds shall be carved into this world's history. Ah, uh, did I? It just fell over like that. Can stone people just suddenly faint? I still don't know his name. It appears his history has now reached its conclusion. Wait, 
that's so sad. He's just been just fighting here all those thousands of years. But now he's finally at peace. Let us continue onwards. You know, I like my lighter tone is like the female one. <laughs> I wonder if the oh yeah there's a one. the interactive map is updated question mark um... yo oh wow oh it's the soul or it's your girlfriend <laughs> BV let's talk about the thing you okay man Ah, oh, such a warm ocean currents. Free at last. Well now, little ones, hail you from the surface. I know not for what reason you have come to this deep water prison, but... We aren't little anything. You were just way too big. <laughs> Very well. Either way, you have broken the shackles that have bound me for a millennia. That, place to pl that places me in your depth. If there's any undertaking in which I may aid you, please speak. Consider it as a token of my gratitude. Uh, Paimon knew you're a reasonable guy. Anyway, Paimon's name is Paimon, and she is Aoi. And this is... um Actually, Paimon's not sure what you know him by, but we call him Major Oz. Ah, Casador. It is you. It has been a while. So you came back after all. But still... You are sadly late, by a few thousands of years, no less. Oh, looks like the big guy know you after all. I have nothing to say about the despicable traitors. Speak not so rashly, mortal. We are dragonborn. Fools what? We keep our promises and betray nothing, which is more than can be said for your high and haughty race. Save your breath. It is worth less than... A drowning mayfly. Your betrayal is undisputed. Were we not defeated in that war precisely because you turned against us? We hadn't lost that war. Our nation, the Sabatos, wouldn't have. Ah, oh, you've gone so far. You've gone far too long, Casador. The truth is not what you imagine. Though I suppose that a, that a secret plan would not have been secret had its detail reached your ears. Secret plan? My, le my leading an army of Vishap to assault the capital was, in fact, part of Ramos' final secret plan. He did all of this, all this to save his nation and people, the man of great moral character. So he's crazy too, huh? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Why would a ruler ask someone to invade their own country? And what little one would one such as you or I know of Ramos' thoughts? Whatever the case, look upon this, Casador. Even you should be able to divine its meaning. A guiding bee, golden bee, they should only heed the call of symphony. Why would the Sebastos bestow his power upon a savage dragon? Because they have arrangements? Oh, you know much, little one. From where do you learn that? The memories are scattered in the sea. You speak correctly, yes, indeed. We did have an arrangement, but I failed him. I squandered his noble sacrifice. I could not make it to Domna's area in time. And so the waves devoured the whole city, and my kindred could not escape either. How could such a thing be? Huh? If it is Petraeus you speak of, then Beotius was the true traitor. Were it not for that lying devil, that deceitful rat? and his silver tongue deception? How could a prince among dragon kings such as I, who once led our armies after the age of all of the ancient dragon, had been so beaten so easily? That devil first falsely claimed that to have given up resistance to Remnant's order, saying he had ordered the legion to cease resistance. Yet when we arrived here, he, he suddenly rose up against us. Now that I have much, had much time to think of it, I feared he must have learned the Ramus plan, plan somehow, and thus was able to set up such an in, inescapable trap and lure me in step by step. 
and thus my flesh and blood turned to stone, and thus did we remain for millennia. To this day, when I rescued, when you rescued me, Beotus knew perfectly well what a massive calamity his action would bring about. Yet, he still could he have been trying to seize control of Phobos? What was why he committed such sin? We don't have the full story yet. So the guy who keeps calling others traitor was actually a traitor through and through? But why though? Um, we're gonna have to ask him. Paimon doubts he will get a straight answer though. Hmm. So that loathsome, reckless central demon worm has yet to dissipate. He has it? Yeah, and he's stolen the soul of a bunch of people in Fontaine too. Rescuing them is actually the main reason we are here. He said that we will wait for us at Dominus area. Oh yeah. Oh god. Well, he just said he was... He wait for Mrs. Major L. O's. So we're coming along uninvited. Not even leaving a door though. How rude of him. The Initium Yani. Hmm. The feeble tricks and smoke screen have been set to dismay us. But at the end of the day, it's nothing more than a gold flight stone. I may have lost my physical body, but it is no great labor to take the little ones over to settle the matter. Watch closely, little ones. Ooh. Ooh, you're pretty reliable, little guy. Big guy. <laughs> now we simply need to break this review. This review seal one by one. Are you prepared? Then let's go. Well then, Mister Oz, are you ready? Now that it's come to this, we have little eyes. Where do the mic, the bike, shut, dude? Alright then, how about you, Aoi? Let's go. Whoa! I missed that. Dude, it's a freaking laser beam. Oh dear. I can leave. Why is there an option to leave? <laughs> what? Keep up, man. I'm like keeping up. Phew, that was close. How dangerous. Ooh. It's dangerous in here. Straight out from me. I shall protect you. Oh wow! Dude, that was close! Yo, what is going on here? Oh, I can't read that one. I need to read that one very fast. But he just like close range, man. You could have shot from afar, man. <laughs> Wee! 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 Oh, look, Paimon can finally see the exit. Oh, is this the other side? We're finally here! In the Domino's area, are we too? It looks more like a giant harp though. Why did the Sebastos construct it like that? It certainly seemed well preserved, completely different from all the ruins above. Yeah, it feels like the only one... It's like the... Only this one only... Wait, what? I feel like this only just sunk. Of course, this palace is fashioned from the giant ship. It was designed to be a titanic instrument on which the symphony was played. See those pipes extending hours? Though the symphony now lies broken, this was once how it would how it would have been broadcast to the four corners of the world. 
the whole palace is an instrument the entire thing now then wouldn't this entire water body start vibrating if you were to play it it might get blasted apart like tofu if you get close to it meow meow what is tofu wait you never heard of tofu any ooze uh then it might be hard to explain we could always take you and go to have some next next time uh wait can cats even eat tofu the eternal city indeed Remus will protect this palace place still just as i expected no wonder that brazen shameless traitor has enjoyed even till this day hmm. i imagine that Bo boetius oh god i hate his name also the survival of time erosion to having laid low in the palace for all this millennia and over all those long years he gradually mastered the power of phobos well now that we're here we should meet up with that rude guy he might be just be shocked to see us all here you know in that case let us part ways for now huh you're not coming along you've been a great help uh, and I was pleased to be of aid, but tell the truth. But to tell the truth, I have no desire to see that one ever again. I wish to never hear again hear a word from that devil's mouth. His words are sham, and shameful are his lies. See that you do not fall for them too. Besides, I could not help you, even if I came to with you, for I am but a temporary occupant of this anchor made a body. Were better to be join i would have no i would have no recourse not that i would mind terribly but no game would have solved the loss of his seizing the symphony that remus bequeathed in on to me let us part for now for now though i cannot aid you in battle i can use this currents to send you hence come to me uh, should you need such aid regardless let us meet again once you have vanquished that traitor now that come, time comes, perhaps I too shall have the chance to make amends for my past regrets. Okay. It's like fast, but also not fast. How the heck? Oh wow! What is this? Oh, what the hell? I can. Oh wow! Well. <laughs> what? Why is my blood? Why? Why? Why is it like showing then? Uh, what? Sela? Where'd she go? Sela? Oh, yeah, she is. Okay. Is this a boat? Yeah, it is a boat. I forgot. It's a shape in the boat. If I'm not wrong. Whoa. Uh we're not fighting on the water, are we? Casador, dear friend, I knew you would come. And uninvited barbarians. When it comes down to it, you're not the boss of this place. Besides, it was Us that brought us here. That caused an invitation as far as Paimon is concerned. Really, you're the discourteous one here. Exactly. We have heard exact we have heard all about it, you know, all that bad stuff you have done. Silence, you noisome. A specific insects. I am speaking to Casador. Do not interrupt. Are we, Paimon? I will take care of this. Proteus, I have come to as promised. Honor your pledge and relinquish the soul of the surface dwellers. They do not deserve to suffer for this unforeseen calamity 
the gods the gods between us should stay between us you call this unforeseen if you not look upon our kindred they like trapped in this lightless waters like walking corpse they are they not supposed to walk upon sunlit shores in my brief interment of surface folk souls in oh god dude his one is a if my brief Intimate of surface folk souls is in this disaster breath of rhythm, rhyme, and reason. Then what we call the millennia long suffering of our kind. Listen, and listen well. The judgment of the surface people has only just begun. No, the one who imprisoned them was you. It was you who turned on, on turned out kin into monsters. They, we, once had a choice. So long as we discarded Oh, our old grudges, the mistress of water agreed to accept us into the new nation. But you used them, took advantage of their plan, their trust in you. You turned them into the tools of your amb ambition. That was their choice. They chose the old order not to have, not the honeyed death you brought. And just as they give, gave unto us uh, the conducting but patterns of Sebastos between Bill Vistot, upon them so too are we duty born bound to lead them onto the correct path how dare you swagger you shameless traitor you who betrayed the sebastos trust and led our country to ruin ha i hear that vile dragon slander your in your words and you would believe the foe of our nation rather than your kin and comrades serve no god no king only mighty room area and our noble ideals. Ram must prove unworthy to reign supreme for the moment he uttered that preserved command. And so there's no traitors. Yeah. If anything, it was I who rescued our nation from his error. He conclude, colluded with our foe, commanding the vile Drake to flatten our cities. He even attempted to destroy the Grand Symphony, which would have consigned us to live under Fortuna's yoke once more. How could I have stood aside and done nothing in the face of his madness? And you betrayed him. You shut the it in it him, Iani. And in the end, Fobo's power went out of control and the royal palace sank into the depths. Will you not open your eyes and see the truth? It was Ramus who betrayed us. Betrayed Phobos. That was the true prelude to the tragedy. I have already spent thousands of years struggling to recreate the symphony of the past. Weaving the broken melodies together in the deep water just to recite, recreate what you hear to now. No, in your hand, it became a harsh and dis discordant voice of agony and hate. Denounce your violence. Ha! Huh. And who decides what is harmonious or not? Is it not absolute power? Ramus bent the knee to the savages and odio odious dragons precisely because he failed to comprehend this. But it matters not. This inverted world shall soon be righted and I shall become the new Sebastos. That's impossible, Beatrice. You are but a mortal human. Humans can never become gods. Ah, but Casador, you forget. Was Ramus' ideal not for all humans to become gods, to seize their own destinies? Do you not remember the rights we researched and recorded in the Golden Castellum? not chart a course to that very destination? Did we... But... Uh, but we did not know... But we did not then know what lay beyond. Had we known those thousands of years ago, we... Times have changed. Things are different now, Casador. Join us. My preparations are complete. Only together we can accomplish this deed. I have rid my soul of all impurities, obtaining a true will. The stairway to heaven is but... A single stop away. I merely need to gather all wheels that would have been scattered throughout the waters. Yes, even yours, which Ramus personally severed. Two minds shall merge into one, and thus shall Rumeria be whole once more. Once more clad in immortal form, infused with refined steel and stone. I, no, we shall take on flesh once more, and a new Sebastos shall be born but not only that i shall also gain that which even ramus could not attain the power to change the very essence of this world i will turn back the wheel of fate i shall in the world old worlds return and bring justice to the land 
the surface dwellers shall submit to our will as they must. It shall be as the Haim said. And when they use their will to command, the rest shall bow down and listen. You know I will not acknowledge you. You have defiled these ideals. I will uphold my justice. Hm. It matters not. You will understand once you enter Phobos Melody and you shall join me. That was a lie, man. I'm surprised I was able to keep up with that. This is Dominus Ovia? If I entered Remnus, Remnus MMA again? No. The atmosphere is different from before. Welcome to my palace, Outlander. My symphony. Boteus, do not be startled. We have not met our aforetime and more than once. Whether through my phantom in the real world or in memory palace Remus left behind. But this is no phantasm of... I'm sorry, I have to burp there. This is my symphony, my golden stage. Okay. Wheels of sorrow ring off every wall. Is that so, Outlander? I know not from whence you came. It seems you are not human birth from the primordial waters. Nor are you any surface being at all. I cannot see the color of your soul. Nor I can touch it. Nonetheless, this is not your war. My vengeance against the surface dweller is none of your concern. I know not why you hinder our work. For the justice of this world. Justice? You can't actually be serious, can you? You may possess the power that even I cannot perceive, but you will not you will be naive, Outlander, to think the brute force alone can defeat me. I have long come become one of the symphony that fills the de deep sea. Even if you should destroy my physical form, as long as the agonized water flows and so as long as the memories of vengeance do not fade, I will not perish and I shall remain the nightmare that haunts this world. Unless you choose as you choose as Casador? As that stray cat did, exiling oneself to become a jailer of the old world. But I do not believe that one as so distinguished as you would go would do so. Forsake that super flares symphony of yours. Should the guilty not be punished? Is that not your justice? Guilty, you say. They are innocent. No Fontanian is innocent. They are spawn of our barbarian foes. Their ancestors seize us from us in the realm that should have been ours by right, and they must pay the price for the original sin. If you have nothing else to say, Outlander, to save the people. Those people, they are neither, neither your kin nor your subjects. On the contrary, so far are you above them that they might as well be ants, perhaps not even that. The weak should submit to the strong. Is that not the law of this world should follow? And yet you say that you will protect them. Is this your boundless mercy or simply folly? Have you anything else to say, Outlander? Ah, but can your short friendship surpass the span of our kinship? Casador and I, we were new humans crafted by Vemus. Own hand, we are the finest survivors. Compared with our other kins, this soul is like ins insoluble equal. Other than myself, only he has a true will, and only when we are combined can we become the complete self. So too are our wills one. The opera's final act shall see him return to us. This is his fate. Since you insist on sabotaging my plans, I'm afraid I will have to ask you to stay in my palace for a while longer. I cannot detain you for long, of course, but it should be long enough. Let us meet again when I became God and sit upon the Sabbath's throne. Before that, let my little ensemble cop occupy you for the time. What the fuck? I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. Oh yeah, I'm fucked. That was lucky. Owie, owie! Do not, I wish to aid of you. Is it, uh, uh, who's his name? What's his name? I forgot. Uh, da -da 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 Estet? Oh. 
Oh, yeah, I found your loss. Oh, hi. Casador. Indeed, it is I. I believe you might have met me in Sebastian's memory, though I suppose this is our first time meeting in this manner. In sh time is short. Maintaining this form in, in Beota's symphony palace is no easy task. Let us keep this brief. Where are we exactly? This is a space created by Beotus, the manifestation of his soul. It is maintained just as the Sabathos memory you have entered before it uh, by the grace of the symphony might. So just now, yes, he used the music power to pull us in. Uh, I suppose that Dominus area is too close to the heart of the Phobos, allowing him to directly influence the present world. If we truly allow him to obtain the power that surpasses re reality, he might even pull the entire surface in world into the space. When that happens, this delusion will replace the world, real world, and Fontaine will revert to its appearance from thousands of years ago. Just like what happened to Pet Petrosaur. No, I suspect it will be worse. Will he really become God? That depends on the, your definition. It is not hard to give a sh give shape to false fantasy, but he will find transcending fate fut futile. Were it truly that simple than those thousands of years ago, we would have already succeeded. All he can do now is drag more innocent into the nightmare of his making, turning them into a walking corpse-like puppet. Then we should stop him. That we do, but we cannot do be done here. We must return to the real world. In that case, I shall aid you. What about you? Not to worry. He has no plan for me at the moment. As for you, though, I just thought of a way you much in which we can destroy him utterly. He has prepared a mighty form of himself in the real world and plans to initiate a ritual within Dominus Aria that will have him take on a flesh. As long as we can get him to lower his guard and gather the symphony scattered throughout those deep waters of the, into that body, we can seize that opportunity to destroy both him and that body. That will put the end of everything. Only you can do this, are we? Phobos' melody does not sing of your destiny, and, Fo and Beotius cannot influence your soul. You are the, ex you are the exception of to all of that is planned. Perhaps that's why the Sabathos guided you here. Go now, my strength will not hold long, long for long. Well, uh, let's meet again in the real world, and we, and we may yet bring an end to this long nightmare. Ah, you finally woken up. My mom will stick though. She thought she thought you might have uh, your soul stick your soul by the jerk like the town people. I'm fine, Paimon. You better be. After we passed out, Beotius and Monsieur Oz disappeared along with that wave of sound, leaving Paimon all along here. And then this big guy came along, not that he helped much either. I fear that was not up to me. I am the, a soul that dwells within the echo, and though that Remus did give me his final symphony, but to wield its power against Priotius was a different matter. Anyway, I was woken up and seems okay at least, but where's Misho Oz go? Did Priotius? I saw him. You tell what happened to Priotius' soul palace. Ah, so Misho Oz is there all alone? He seems to have his own plan. Don't worry about it. Regardless, he should he should be he, he proved correct. Then we shall we still have a chance to defeat the shameless devil. But first you must enter Dominus area. Well then, big guy. Why are you looking for at me for? Didn't you once led a horse, host of dragons to attack Rumeria capital? Getting us into the Dominus area should be a piece of cake. You have many ideas for a small one, little one. Still, this is, shall not prove as simple as you think. The chief strength of Dragonborn lies in our powerful flesh. Embedded with Iker as I am, uh, all that remains with me is but the feeblest of views. Destroying the Inetium Iani is just night of all my power and Dominus Aurea, defended by the symphony power. It cannot be comp compared to the great gates of mere stone. Wait, then are we fresh out of ocean? Are we really just gonna watch while that Botius guy eat Monsieur Osla? Peace, you rash little thing. I merely said that I was powerless, but it's not 
but it's not so for you. The power of symphony defends the palace. The same strength can be used to break it. The so, but the symphony that I can will is, yeah, that super powerful Phobos thing is protecting that palace, right? How can we possibly beat it? If you cannot beat it, then simply borrow what you need from it. Once upon a time, a wheel of Phobos flowed through golden aqua depths into every corner of Romania, Romania. Through this path and pipes have been destroyed, if you can connect the section that lies before you once more, the great gates of Dormia Avia shall surely open, just as they once did. That is what is written in the symphony after all. Well, I too made some discoveries while searching for, the, for anything Ramus might have left behind. It appears that, that, that this devil have yet to join some fragments of the symphony to his music, and they scattered this into the part of the sea. Come with me. If we can find them and use their strength, we might as well might yet reverse the flow of time and return the aqueducts to the original form. Ooh, that sounds kind of promising. Alright, let's move then. That hurts, but... Yay! Oh yeah. Yo, Scylla! Go, you go went that far, holy crap. Follow the golden bee forward. Oh, hey, hey, wait up! Hello, golden bee. What's up? Is this land? Yes. Crap. Crap. Viewpoint. Ooh. Activate. We turn the vibe. We turn the flying bird. What? Ah, uh, for what? Well, wow, that's like the bus there. What the fuck? And... Nope, miss. Oh, what? Okay, there's another bird somewhere. Hi, buddy. Are you lost? How do, how do I move you? Buddy, buddy, are you okay? Oh shit! I, I, I fucked up. What the hell? Piece of shit. Are you infectable too? Okay, you 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 are. Ah, okay, so that that that. Oh, wasn't the plan, but okay. There's a tombstone here, actually. The hell? I'm not reading that, man. I'm sorry. Mine. Uh, we come back. No, 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 come back. Oh, man. Well, we're swimming. Th 
can the birds go? So they're gonna repair that? Oh! That's neat. Are we doing this again? Okay. Huh? Okay. Let's do this one very quick. Nope. Wrong way. Up. Nope. Down. Okay. And then we should get the birds. Where's one? Go, buddy. Go back home. You're drunk. Go back home. You're drunk. There's one more bird, huh? Oh, wait. That is. You were not part of the, the family. Go back. You're drunk. Yeah, there we go. The bridge? Oh. Oh. Alrighty. Looks like the waterway is connected. Next, we should go back and look for the big lung, huh? Um, Pema is wonder how Monsieur Oz is doing. We gotta hurry up. Huh? Are we? What's going on? Is it happening again? I had a dream. In that dream, even Mortal had free will and their fate was also... Famous, I must remind you. That in my view, both your kingdom and the symphony you compose are now beyond your control. Though I have never expected much from those created by the... usurper of the many waters and nurtured by yourself, to the extent of their degradation is shocking nonetheless. It's a civilization created by you and your sinners, subject soon, brighter than all others in this world, but not remains now, but deep, imp in impenetrable darkness. Uh, the atrocity committed in the name of civilization and order were far crueler than even pure barbarians. Barbarism? Even the most savage and violent of Visha would never engage in such meaningless slaughter. I'm perfectly aware of all of that. Thank you. Or that you say you know and yet you remain indifferent or are you just powerless no you could easily destroy those mortals who deserve punishment if you so wish but you cannot bring yourself to do it you love humanity humanity this is the curse you wear as a usurper it is time for me to depart i will not aid them in butchering innocent mortals but neither do i harbor any desire to stop them you once promised the usurper of many waters that you will use the pure water she granted you to create a world of endless prosperity. One without conflict. I followed you to the surface precisely because I wished to witness that future. But this is how it turned out. You have failed, Ramus. You could not defeat fate. Blood shall stain in the bleed stain the high sea raid once more. Such is the cruelty, but the heaven showed that your creation. I have a plan. Oh, you always were the ones that to have many plans, Vamus, but all of them lie in the dust now. Even you do not know where it all went along, went wrong. We would like to hear it though. This will be the last one. I distinctly recall you saying the same thing when you persuaded me. To leave the front terminal, but speak now before I return there to the side of the usurper of many waters. Huh? <laughs> fascinating, fascinating. Only you could bring so tower towering, selfish, yet so utterly selfless. You even took me into account, did you? Recklessness. 
How terribly rash of you, a serpent lord of mortals. Still, your plot pleases me. The mere thought of leading my bishop and trampling your arrogant, foolish people underfoot brings me joy. It shall be more be mere ceremony, just a show. Fret not, I shall be as you said, merciful. But if you do this, your life as a god shall come to an end. There will be nothing left but the symphony. You have considered this fully? Of course. Of course. The box of horror that I've opened, so too shall I shut. Good. Then I accept your proposal. If the time should come, I shall join my strength to that of your symphony. Phobos chain shall be broken, and your people shall once be once more be free. In a, in that case, please accept. My final symphony. I can't read that one very quick. You see where my stalled members again, are we? It wasn't another one of those Mr. Evil and Rude, this one, right? Even in dreams, that jerk's super irritating. We must destroy Phobos. To accomplish it, we will need to play Sila Symphony. Eh? What's with what is that all of a sudden? What do you need to see her? What you, what do you see in the memory? Fascinating. Remus' power lingers still in the deep sea. It has not disappeared. And I, too, am here at last. Do you know what that means? The condition has been fulfilled. Indeed. This is, that is why I come here with you. To make amends of millennia of regret. Now the final question is Phobos. Wait, 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 wait. Paimon is confused. What are we using the music for? It's nice that you understand each other and all. But you're leaving Paimon now. That's unfair. Tell me, tell her what's going on. The final symphony Ramus gave me. Or the Requiem. It's an, it's an order for the Phobos to self-destruct. He, he was to sacrifice himself to unleash the symphony's power. And it would fall to me to control the primordial savage energy that he would awaken. That was how he should he would free his subjects from their stone bodies and give them back to the forms of flesh and blood, destroying the artificial barrier between races. He once instructed me to not reveal this plan to any of his subjects. For it was only by making them realize their limitation that prejudice and arrogance could be set aside. It appears, however, that you have pieced together his plan through the memories he's left behind, are we? So that's what happened. But his sacrifice was wasted in the end. Perhaps, but now that my soul has been freed, there's still a chance to make amends. The soul, lost soul of Ramus' for former subject remain imprisoned in their statues. If we defeat that monstrosity, we can use the Requiem to give their soul release, allowing them to return to the high sea, to the external cycle of life and death. That way, I may consider myself to have fulfilled his wish. wish. Perhaps that's why I came here. Indeed, Outlander, perhaps this is indeed a fated encounter. The final Requiem. Steer the boat. <laughs> that looks stupid, but okay. Ah, how the eager dazzle. Just as it did millennia ago, this must mean that the time has come. The gates of almost Aurea shall swing open wide, just as it did when the golden waterway ran the swift song, in the days when the melody of, of the fellow would flow from this place and all lands beyond. Ah, I can hear it already, that beautiful music. Let us play it together, are we, Paimon? Then, we shall gain access to Dominus area.
He's so cool. Of course, a, a world quest is like having the moment of the life, man. Oh, I won't miss that. Oh, this is so cool. Dude, I'm a Disney princess, man. <laughs> Yo, that was so cool. Phew! I guess we are in. That was tough. That's it. This looks more like the guts of some giant machine than it makes dust of a palace. This place is very familiar. Is this place you saw in Memories? Mem memories? So that's why Mr. Super Rude Bad Guy also wants to. Uh, this thing is gonna get ugly if he succeeds. We don't know what become of Mr. Oz either. But we have no choice but to keep going. Wait, hold up. This is so cool. Like, it's always the world quest that is so fucking great. Like, the moments is like, like, unequal to like... Oh dear. Persistent garbage. Did you repair the broken Aquadex to celebrate my birth as a god of the ancient days? I must warn you though, my new world requires no such thing, nor I will require ships. For all shall I find internal happiness within my symphony. We are about to add some end bar lines to your score, man. That's right. Best you admit defeat now and release everyone's soul. And also hand over Mr. Oz. Hmm. Cassador has already agreed to join this grand ritual. He has returned to Rumeria's embrace. All wills belong to Rumeria shall merge into one body. When now is your friendship? Was it not merely your own presumptuous, presumptive, and inflated sense of importance? Major Oz! Just trust me. What? Yeah, he's gonna take over somehow in it from the inside. Dude, that thing is range is pretty far actually. I just realized that. What? How? Why can't I control this body? Cast it on you. Yes, I have you at last, Proteus. All your will is here, and Phobos also. This time, there is no escape. Why? I am a Harmos, the conductor of the symphony. How? How did you? Have you forgotten? Before the Sebastos cut me away, I too was the Harmos. And now that I have returned to the symphony, you are the sole conductor no longer. <laughs> so you agree to join me? Just to lower my guard? Only to betray me once more? Me and Rumeria both? Think of our kin, 
tragically imprisoned beneath the waters of the torment they have suffered for millennia. Will you truly destroy our cause? Obliviate, obliviate, uh, obliv obliterate our final hope for the sake of those crony and crawl on dry land? You are the traitor here. And the ones who imprison our people, that is our nation, fell into ruinous fate. The justice that our Sabbathos, the Imperator, gave unto us, that golden ideal, was us to follow the melody of our own hearts and obtain the freedom to grasp of our fate. We did not wish to be judged by Fortuna, much less to become your slave. After Phobos was shattered, the people should have gained their freedom, if not for your deception, that nightmare would have ended long ago. Romaria has not fallen, with Phobos as his guiding star, it shall rise again. Though rock and metal may crash and clamor, humans li cannot live without water and soil. No power, however great, that tramples upon the value of life has any meaning. Are you not human yourself, Beatrice? We are Rumerians, were all ordinary Fontanians once. Though we forsook our flesh, wrecked with pain and weakness, and gained immortal forms, we still have a mortal soul, immortal emotion, and mortal frail frailties. But we forgot that. We forgot that where we came from believe ourselves superior to other humans. That is why Rumeria fell. Do you remember my words, Aoi? Now is the time. Buddy, you yet. I need more energy. Oh, come on. When I, when I started my rotation, man. Uh, Paimon, do you see this or am I crazy? Uh, Paimon is dizzy now. Casador. Aoi and Paimon. I didn't think we would be able to meet again like this. Uh, you are Miju Oz. Whoa, Beatrice is here too. He's not gonna try anything funny, is he? Whoa. No, wait. Are Paimon I deceiving her? What's that thing floating over there? You see it too then. The being that hovers behind the illusion of Beatrice. <laughs> you found me. I see. You are a hawk. No illusion it is that you see. You gaze upon Beatrice, the truth. For I am in truth Briotius. Of course, I am not only him, but you also. I am every melody, melody, every movement, every thoughts. I am the sum of all souls. I am Phobos. What, buddy? This does not include you, children from beyond, however. You are not part of us. Phobos. So the great symphony that governs all has a persona, Phobos. Or should I say, that which was once Sibylla was originally a survivor of the last deluge that swallowed the earth. Sibylla wish was to grant happiness to all in the world who are called humans, but she had no persona, her strength was inefficient. Thus, she entrusted her wisdom to Ramus, and with the addition of of the power that Ramus possessed, the symphony was created. That is to say, me. How can this... So this means the music we have played all this time, the fate we accepted, they all came from you. Yes, it is me. But it also all of you. I am also you all. I, the exaggerate of all, all you wishes. Eliminating our enemies, destroying others' life, destroying cities and village. Are these also our wish? Precisely. That's what you wish for. And so I responded. Plunder, hatred, slaughter. These two are part of your wishes. It's not what it means to give everyone happiness. Preposterous. That's absurd. Don't twist it. Don't get don't just twist it and wrong. 
No, those aren't our true wishes. The arrogance and hatred that infested within us warped you, turning you into a terrifying monstrosity. Such thing would not make no would make no one happy, not us, not any other living beings. No wonder you led us to destruction. <coughs> uh, the Imperator himself must have sensed it, and that's why he Ramus. Yes, he did attempt to destroy me. But why? Without me, all of you who once again have been plunged into confusion and agony. Ah, so for all your sake, I had no choice but to. Wait, what? Do you mean to say that Bertius, even then, had already? Yes, that must be it. We could never have gone against the Sabaptus command unless the very symphony had rebelled against him. What of Bertius? What have you done to him? Well, he became us, of course. I'll put it away, you might understand. I ate him. Ayo? Huh? Hmm, that was also his wish. One only I could fulfill. I'm sure that it made me most happy indeed. But that's why Bertus became your puppet. And why did he he did all he could to engineer your return? It's all for the happiness of you for everyone. <laughs> No, 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 no. It's time we put the end to all of this. I have trapped you in this body. There's no way out. I shall destroy you utterly. Is your wish to dis disappear together with me? Would that make you happy? But I can't fulfill that wish. I am Rumerian no longer. And I cannot become Fontanian. I already choose my fate when I agree to help Sabaptus attain his wish. So yes, this is my wish. The very reason for which I have wanted this world. I will end this millennia old white nightmare. Now I will Phobos and I destroy us. But I am filled with joy, are we? For I have learned of the Baptist plan and hope. The Imperator aimed to free everyone from his symphony, from hatred and strife to his sacrifice. Even to the last, he decided to save his people. Now I shall fulfill the wish he could not see through. This is our final chance, and only you can help us seize it. This is why the Imperator, why fate brought you here, my friend. But oh, that was quick. Oh dear. Bye bye, Oz. Mr. Oz, is that you? It's finally over. It seems that I shall soon fade. Casador, it's alright. I have finished walking the road I was meant to, and fulfilled that which I was meant to fulfill. This world shall no longer have Casador, nor shall it have the Golden Hunter. I am certain that the people of this present world shall continue to live normal, happy lives. But, but, Aoi, Paimon, you have my thanks for accompanying me up to this point. My journey has reached its final destination, but yours has yet to end. Please play the requiem for me, and for my imperial wish, just let us, let our soul return to the present world and return to the great sea. If water loses its clarity, how shall it become water again? If a tree leaves the floor, the soil, where shall it go down to put out its roots? To rock and metal may crash and clamor. Humans cannot live without water and soil. Perhaps we shall meet again one day in a fertile land full of flowering water. Flowing water. So do I keep you as a pet in my teapot? But we haven't played the final symphony. Cast it on. Ooh. 
This is so cool. Well, the final symphony. Meow meow. Whoa, big guy, you scared ooze. You mean Casador? No, the familiar feeling has disappeared. Where has Casador gone to off to? Has he returned to one of those stone bodies again? He is no longer with us. Casador, Major Or, she, she disappeared along with Vettius and Phobos. He explained the whole thing. That's right. Now all that's left is Oos. Meow meow. Uh -huh. Good going, Oos. Guess you you were just surprised by this bad, big guy's appearance, huh? Who's a brave kitty, huh? That's right, you are. So you vanquished the evil apparition, and Casador was able to fulfill his own wish? I am certain that his soul has returned to the deep sea, and is now reunited with his kin. So long as we complete Ramus' final symphony, we shall be able to send their souls back to the present. Back to the high seas. Life flows like water. They will join the current, and one day, they will surely be reborn as mortals. Well then, shall we begin to perform this final movement, the final requiem? Oh shit! I wasn't expecting to press any buttons. I was about to chill. I missed that. I'm sorry. That was so sudden though. Are we doing it again? Because I failed. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Well. Yeah, we are apparently. Yeah. Okay, that does deserve, but okay. <laughs> That's so cool. You can't tell Lumin is not a Disney princess. <laughs> oh, 
Holy shit, buddy. Um, are you guys okay now? I miss like every fucking thing. Is the symphony that Ramus left us, left to us, finally came coming to an end? We complete the requiem, and the soul imprisoned in the ocean depths all seems to have left. The townspeople, be, the townspeople should have be back to normal as well. Thank you, both of you, for completing this final music, musical movement. These wishes that have been endured for a thousand of years, whether it was mine, Ramus, or that of anyone who wishes to protect the peace of this world. That reminds Paimon of Major Oz. Meow meow. You like that name too, huh? <laughs> We're not talking about you right now though. His soul has returned to the high sea. There, at least he can be at peace. I imagine that was akin to release of him. As my kindred and descendant, it seems that new true dragon has been born to us. Though as one who was a prince amongst Hydro Vishap, I shall. I should go forth and seek an audience with him, though it's hard to say if I shall count as a dragonborn now. Too much time has passed, so much that little in this world has anything to do with me. So what do you two plan to do next? Well now, it's not as easy to regain my freedom, so I believe I shall have a good romp underwater. After all, there is none which shall disturb me any longer, save you perhaps. What do you mean disturb? <laughs> I guess. Still, are you not due to return to your own place? Let us part ways here then. Or should I say, but further further visit on your parts would be appreciated. I might get lonely now and then, so everyone is gone so after all. Aw, oh, you just missed us so rarely, don't you, you big lung. You meet again. <laughs> Looking at you, even I begin to look forward to the future of terrestrial beings. Well then, until we meet again. Well, what, where should we go next? Oh right, we should go back to Mr. S and tell him everything's fine now. We did promise to after all. And that's all too. Um, what should we call him now? This could be complicated. Anyway, let's get back to town first. Wait, we're supposed to go back to town. Esther, we're back! Oh, if it isn't. Wait, no. Who are you? Huh? You can't have forgotten us already. We are Paimon and Aoi. Paoi and Paimon. I have indeed heard of tales of that name. But I could have sworn I heard them in a dream. Uh, but you were definitely awake then, Esther. Also, while we were below, didn't we even see. A dream that everyone in town was petrified, turning to stone, tattooed of stone, leaving me utterly helpless and alone. Until finally, two brave heroes came and showed the, the burden of rescuing everyone. Could it be that it was no dream at all? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, after all, everyone's back to normal now, aren't they? But it seems as though everyone had some very strange dream, dreams indeed. That's what happened. Could we all have hypnotized en masse? Uh, it would take us ages to explain all properly now. Just forget about the hypnosis thing for now. Oh, speaking of hypnosis, you two bring brought, uh, over a cat. It looks quite intelligent. He's our companion. That is true, but we still can't take him with us on our journey. Well now, isn't that a coincidence? Our club just happens to have an open bed for cats available. It's been unoccupied ever since the hypnosis researcher went a traveling and took his cat with him. If you two don't mind, leave him here with us. We'll take care of him. Though I can't quite put my finger on it. It feels like we are bound to out together. Almost as if by fate, I will have 
I will help you take care of him. Very good care of him indeed. The cavalry on the other side of the building. Just walk over there and you'll see it. Oh. Hey, this will be your home for now, Ooze. Meow. Still, it feels a bit weird. Casador would have already left here, right? So who's Ooze now? Is it the original cat that hadn't been indwelt by Casador? Or is it Major Ooze that shared all those adventures with us? Uh, Paimon's brain is cramping up. Ooze is Ooze. So Paimon still doesn't get it. It does make a certain kind of sense. Anyway, we have found a new home for Ooze too. If we got, if we got time, we could come and play with him. Meow meow. We can play with the cat Ooze. Good cat. Good cat. Indeed. Valentino is going crazy for a cat. Okay, well. I think that's the end. I hope it's the end. Wait. I think for us to check, we should go to the thingy. Yeah. Then we can check from here. What does that mean? Levi Jenkins! Daydream Bidonle. What the fuck? I'm guessing you are one of them. Anyway, yeah, I think there's probably some quests here and there that I probably need to fight, figure out where. Yeah, it's probably like one year somewhere too. I wouldn't be surprised, but yeah. See you. I don't have energy. Next time. Bye.